Hello and welcome to my channel where today I know I've been doing a lot of closet clean out. I don't know. Does anybody else have a thing where they really enjoy decluttering but at the same time decluttering is kind of hard? Does that make any sense to anybody? I want to start decluttering my drawers here which I have not done yet. I don't even really remember the last time that I opened up my drawers, except for my pajama drawer. And that is the drawer that we are working on today. I'm kind of feeling like pajamas, I'm going to be able to declutter okayly, maybe? I don't know. We'll give it a try, okay? Here's the criteria that I am following for my pajamas. Number one, and this one is obvious, it must fit me because if it doesn't fit me I'm not going to be comfortable going to sleep in it so if it doesn't fit I don't care what I think is going to happen in the future at this point I am hoping to start a diet somewhat soon I'm hoping to get a little bit more exercise in but right now that is not happening so if it doesn't fit it's gonna go and with pajamas I think you can get away with looser fitting pajamas so even if I do end up losing weight, I think a lot of these pajamas I can still continue to wear. So we're going to get rid of ones that don't fit. Number two, I want them to be at least a little bit cute so that I feel cute when I wake up in the morning, honestly. I don't know. Mm, I just feel like my mornings go a lot better if I, I don't feel disgusting because I am not able to take a shower right away in the morning. I'm not able to get dressed right away in the morning. I probably could do those things if I got up before the kid, but I cherish my sleep. <laughs> so I usually sleep as long as the baby will allow me to sleep. So I don't usually get a shower in until his nap. Unless somebody else is here to watch him. Or sometimes I bring out his pack and play into the bedroom so then I can see him from the bathroom and he's just playing in his pack and play. Sometimes I do that. But for the most part, I do not, I don't, I don't get ready in the morning. So I want to feel nice in the mornings. My third criteria is going to be it must go with something. You know, I can't just have Oh, no, 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 because I'm just thinking of this specific pair of sweatpants that I really like that I don't have a specific top for, but it's great. Like, it goes with everything, so it doesn't need a specific top. Whatever. Let's get started. To clarify, we are going with just two criterias, but let's pretend that it equals to three because I like three better than two. Oh, oh boy. Here are all my pajamas. Holding them all right now, I feel like this is not necessary for any human. I don't think I need this many pajamas, but watch me find every excuse to keep most of them. Okay, we're gonna throw it on the floor now. Pajama number one, I already know I'm not getting rid of because it's, it's an, a night dress. Should I try these on for you? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them all on, okay. Um, I don't think I'm finding a good angle in here, so I'm gonna just try my best. You can see this goes down to about uh, my half, half thigh, mid thigh. It's a night dress, and actually it's very, very warm. It's kind of good for fall. Maybe I'll get back into this in the fall, I don't know. But the main reason that I'm wanting to keep this is because this is a maternity situation. If you've never been pregnant before, uh, pregnant people pee a lot. And after the 10th time getting out of bed before, hmm, like 10 o'clock, I just got sick of wearing pants. So I bought a night dress and this was the best decision I made during my pregnancy. So I'm keeping it, but I'm not as into it currently. I know maybe in the fall I will be, or if I get pregnant again, I will be. So, keeping. In case you're curious about the, the nightgown, it is Echo Go. It's that. It's a double XL. I bought it off of Amazon. If I remember, I will link it below. If I forget, yell at me. My next pajama set might 
break criteria number three that I made up where it had to match something because this is a, a three piece set. If it is hot, you wear the shorts. If it's cold, you wear the pants, but they all came with this t-shirt. I have never worn this t-shirt because it's a thin material that feels very clingy and that always just upsets me because I don't like things clinging to my body. But I'll give it a go. We'll see. Maybe I'll like it. As far as comfort, I am comfortable right now. I could see myself sleeping in this, but let's see. Do I feel cute? Okay. Actually, you know, I didn't have to be as worried about this. Yes, it, it's a clingy material, but I don't feel like my rolls are on mega display unless I'm really like, eh. how long am I back? Are we rolling? Just a little, a little rolling. Okay. Okay. It's not an excess. And the shorts, oh, they're so comfortable. They're so cute. I knew that I would keep the shorts. It was mostly the shirt that it was a little iffy on. I'll show you the pants too, but I already know I love the pants. So we're keeping the full set. And here are the pants. I'm very comfortable. I could go to sleep right now. Like, good night loving the sunflowers if you've seen any of my past videos you know i'm a sucker for floral anything and sunflowers are my favorite so these jammies love them i feel cute and i'm very comfortable so they are staying next i have another set that i know that i love because i wear this often it's from target it's their stars above brand here let me show you the tag so you know i'm not a liar Stars above, double XL. And when buying pajamas, I try to buy the biggest size possible. It's just comfier. It's hot in here. I'm messing up my little buns. For a little bit, I really thought that I was going to be one of those people that uh, always wears like a matching set pajama. You'll see, I have another one. And I love it no complaints no uh praises it's pretty basic you know it's just a navy blue pajama set i would answer the door on this like hi welcome to my home i'm still in my pajamas but i'll change for you maybe later <laughs> if you're looking for very comfortable pajamas i would say target has a lot of very very comfortable pajamas if you want to look like you got your life together you can look like you got your life together Look at me. Yeah, keeping these for sure. So as long as we're on the matching set situation, I have pretty much the same thing, but in black. I also got this from Amazon. It's Avid Love. I don't know, that tag makes it look like it's not supposed to be just a matching set situation. Like it's got that lady there. I got this off of Amazon. Again, I will link it if I remember. It was basically when all of my clothes weren't fitting me when I was pregnant and I wanted to be comfortable, but I wanted to look cute. I went to Amazon and this was another thing that I picked up because black is slimming. My poor piggy tails. Oh, this is really bad. Another win, I think. It's just a button up with black pants and I like the pants are full length, the pockets. Love pockets. You know, when I'm sleeping, I need a pocket for stuff. But actually, when I go outside and I take the dog out at night, it's nice to have a pocket so I can put my phone in it. I don't know. Is anybody else nervous about going outside without their phone? Because I kind of am. Not the point. Not the point. Again, another set that I love and am keeping. This video is not going well. Well, it's going well because I get to keep things but the whole point of the video was to declutter and um that's not happening I'm not decluttering anything maybe maybe it'll, it'll come it'll come it'll come it'll come here we go great examples this is a pair of shorts that I tried on for my trying my shorts collection on after gaining weight and like these fit but they fit to like the maximum degree that they could fit 
they're honestly not very comfortable. I said they looked ugly on me, so they were going to go in the pajama drawer. But they're also not that comfortable because they're so tight. So we're going to say goodbye to my lovely yellow velvet. Oh, I love... I, I wish that they fit because if they did, they would be very comfortable. I know because they did at some point fit me, but, and it's yellow, which doesn't look good on me, but I love yellow. So goodbye. We're decluttering this one. And then the other one, I know this doesn't fit me because I try them on all the time and it just, it's not comfortable. Like, do they fit me? Kind of. Yeah. But are they like fit me I'm comfortable going to bed no they are a large from Old Navy one of my favorite places and as we saw trending throughout all of my other pajama outfits I like a double XL basically I try to buy the biggest size that they have right now because even if oversized comfortable this hmm Hmm, not that comfortable. So we're going to donate it. These are maternity leggings. I'm not 100% sure why they were in there. Oh. So I went on vacation when I had lost a lot of weight and I went to Walmart and I bought, well, this is cropped now, but this was a full length nightgown. And this is, this is a bigger size. This is a extra large I don't know the tags all messed up now but I think it was an extra large so technically this fits me but because it's cropped my 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 droopy my droopy belly from you know the birth situation not my birth my son's birth just like a little of it showing makes me very uncomfortable so this fits but it makes me uncomfortable but I'm also sad because look, it's got little campers on it. It says cozy camper. If I had just made this a little bit longer, I need to go to Walmart and see if they have this still. This was like two or three years, three years ago, two years ago. It was a while ago. So I, I don't know if they still have this design, but if they do, I'm buying it again. And no, I'm not going to keep it in the, like the long length or maybe I'll buy two and I'll have... <laughs> Uh, I tried to declutter and now I'm thinking of buying two of this. But if I buy two, listen, listen, listen. This is going to make sense here in a moment. If I buy two, I could have one be a nightgown. And I can live my nightgown dreams because I do like a nightgown. I do sometimes. Not, not super often, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. And then one, I could chop into a t-shirt and enjoy that for t-shirt time. So I'm, I'm going to go to Walmart soon. That is going, but you know, if Walmart doesn't have that pattern, maybe they have something else that's similar or cute or... Now this is the last of things that I bought as a set. It is a pair of tie-dye shorts, and this is in a size large. Like this is... Oh, it's Simply Vera. I have some of her other stuff, but this is in a large. So... I feel like this isn't a super comfortable bottom, but I'm going to try it on because it's been a while since I've tried it. This tie-dye is not my favorite tie-dye, but I still, I still appreciate this tie-dye. I appreciate it. I also love that this is a hoodie, but with short-sleeved, a short-sleeved hoodie. I love short-sleeved hoodies. I think the reason that I like a short-sleeved hoodie is because of the Midwestern in me. It just makes sense to wear something that can be both warm and cold. So one of my favorite outfits is in the spring when things are starting to warm up and you want to wear shorts, but also it's still okay to wear a sweatshirt outside. Sweatshirts with shorts are my favorite. And flip-flops. It's probably not not gonna make headlines on uh, any fashion website, but you know, weirder things have happened. Socks and sandals weren't a thing. Like, people made fun of people with socks and sandals, and I think People actually like socks and sandals now? Not me, but some people do. I think a lot of people do, honestly. I got it on. So I can I can have my hood. See? 
short sleeved hoodie. It's very thin too, so it's it's very breathable. Obviously, I love the top. We talked about this. I love the top. It I will wear this to the grocery store. I love this shirt. The bottoms I feel like they don't even look good together, in all honesty. I feel like this is just too much tie-dye. And that's coming from me, a girl that loves all things floral and tie-dye. It's also just like really tight around my waist. Like it's not really digging in, but it's kind of like tight enough that I'm not super comfortable. If these were jeans, like jean shorts that I would wear out and about, I think I would like them, the fit anyways. But because these are meant to be pajama pants that I wear to bed, that I'm supposed to be at my most comfortable, I'm saying no to the shorts. So the shorts are coming off and they are going to be replaced with these shorts. I think, is this Target again? Yeah, Target, the Stars Above brand. Stars Above, what size? Double XL. Love these, very soft. If you take anything away from this video, buy from Stars Above. It's very soft. To conclude the last thing, yeah, these are gonna get donated. But these, these are going to stay with me forever and ever. They're perfect, they're so soft, they're stretchy. I feel very comfortable in them. Do these go together? I don't know, I can't see my viewfinder very well because it's very blurry. I've got my glasses over there, but you know, the glasses shine, it just, I don't know. I'm keeping the shorts, I'm keeping the top. Okay, here's another one that I'm not even gonna try on because I know that they are too tight. What size are they? They're an extra large. Maybe I should try them on. Ooh, no, no, no. These are very tight. These are very short. Uh, I'm not even gonna show you. They're very tight and short. So those will be donated and somebody else will love them. They're comfortable. I'll give them that, but I'm not I'm not all that comfortable because I feel like I'm wearing, um, you know those, the, those underwear? I think they're called boy short underwear. That's what it feels like. It's very, I feel like I don't have a lot of coverage there. I don't know. I don't know why that bugs me, but it does. Are these maternity? I haven't seen these shorts in so long. I have no clue what they are. I'll try them on. Part of me feels like they might be maternity because, and I think I accidentally bleached them a little bit. I don't know how I did that, but um, yeah, no, these aren't cute anymore because I bleached them. I'm gonna try them on and, and think about it. Okay, so while I was trying them on, I did find the tag that said that it was a maternity situation. So it comes up to very high, which is very comfortable. Actually, these are really, really comfortable. I may just continue to wear them. Does the bleach bug me? Yeah, a little bit, but maybe I'll bleach tie-dye them. Yeah, that's a good idea, okay. Next video, bleach tie-dye. Just kidding, because it's only just one thing. If I find more, I'll do it, for sure. I love bleach tie-dye. Oh, okay, tangent. The bleach tie-dye trend, do we remember when that was a thing when Jenna Marbles bleached tie-dyed everything and then everybody wanted to bleach tie-dye everything? Although I think everybody wanted to bleach tie-dye things and then Jenna Marbles did it. But to me, the timeline was I saw Jenna Marbles tie-dye everything so I wanted to bleach tie-dye everything and I bleach tie-dyed my absolute favorite t-shirt and I oh when it came out I don't even know if I have any pictures of it but it was like a black t-shirt that's what you do with bleach tie-dye you find dark colors so a black t-shirt bleach tie-dye and I wore it it was very cute after I did it and I wore it and I wore it and after a while it started to get holes in the areas where the bleach were. So I think I either did something wrong or that's just a thing with bleach tie-dye that you have to you have to deal with. I don't know, maybe, maybe I did it for too long. I'm keeping these shorts and I think I'm gonna bleach tie-dye them. I'm going to risk it. So the rest of what I got is kind of random, but we'll start right here. This is a t-shirt that I wore at my bachelorette party because I wanted to have like a PJ bonfire party. I didn't really want to go out. I'm not really the type to go out. I had this with flannel pants that were white and black and everybody else had flannel pants that were like the flannel here, this red and black. But my flannel pants got a really big rip in them and I no longer wear them and I'm really sad because I loved those flannel pants. This shirt 
is more about the memories than uh, wearing it. So I'm going to put it in my bin where I keep my memorable clothes, you know, things like the sweatshirt that you had in high school or a tank top that you bought in college, you know, stuff like that. So it's gonna go in that. More tie-dye. I love these pants. I got them at Walmart pretty recently. I know they fit. I wear them every single time that they're clean. So I'll, I'll try them on for you anyways. It's tie-dye on tie-dye again. I don't think I would wear these two together, but I do love these pants. They're very comfortable. If you had to choose between buying the Walmart pajamas and buying the Target pajamas, Target, definitely much softer, much lighter. These are thicker, um, which can be good like in the winter, but it's summer right now. So, you know, I can't even say all that much because I do wear them all the time still. And it's summer. I'm literally sweating right now because it's hot. Do you see? I'm shiny. I'm keeping them. I've got two t-shirts that, well, this one's kind of recent, but this t-shirt I absolutely love. I've had it for years. I've had situations where this t-shirt has come in handy for like special dress up days. It's Bob Ross, Galaxy Bob Ross. Do you remember when Galaxy was really big? There was Galaxy everything, like Galaxy was a major aesthetic. That's about when I bought this. Uh, it was probably like 2014, 2015. Wow, this shirt is old. It's really big, so I like that. I'll put it on for you. You, you can understand my situation here in a second. Oh, it's so comfortable. I'm so happy. Like, this outfit. I feel cute. And I'm comfortable. We love Bob. So yes, yes, I am keeping this. Probably until it wears out. So this next shirt is a more recent purchase. So there's no way I'm getting rid of it. And honestly, even if I don't enjoy wearing it, this is probably one that's going to go in the memory box because this is the t-shirt that I bought to wear at my son's first birthday party. He had a Blue's Clues themed birthday. My husband bought a Steve shirt off of Amazon, which is very cute. And then I bought just a Blue's t-shirt. I do wish that it would have sized up just one more and I can also, link this on Amazon. But the only reason that I think that I would size up more is because the sleeves, I got big arms. We've talked about my wings. They don't even look that, see, see how that droops? I got big arms. So I, I shouldn't, I don't have any business buying women's t-shirts because the sleeves are always for feminine arms. And honestly, even when I've lost weight, I don't have feminine arms. I have large arms. I have zero strength. I have zero want to do arm exercises to make them any stronger or slimmer. Although I would like if they were slimmer, I guess, but it's, it's not my favorite thing about me and it's not my favorite thing that I would, would change because that sounds like a lot of work, but maybe someday I'll do it. But, but today's not the day. The sleeves. Not great. The rest of it fit me just fine, but I would have sized up solely because of the sleeves. Do we want to see me wear it? I'll put it on. I don't feel very comfortable in it. So I think what's going to happen with this shirt is because it doesn't fit the criteria of me being comfortable in it, it's going to go in the memory box. That way I can still keep it. Yeah, I wish I would have sized up a little bit because it is kind of touching my stomach. I like things a little looser. Other things I had in my drawer were some slipper socks. I love these in the winter, so they're staying. And then I have these two t-shirts that I got while I was thrifting. Honestly, this one, I don't think it belongs in the PJ drawer. It belongs in my closet on a hanger. So I think that's where it's gonna go. Or I guess in my t-shirt drawer. I never go into my t-shirt drawer. I think my t-shirt drawer is my next thing to tackle. Cause I have a lot of t-shirts in there. And like I said, I never opened my t-shirt drawer. And then I just loved, it looks old. Doesn't this look like, look at the tag. It looks old. So I liked it. And is this another, does this belong in the t-shirt? No, yes. This belongs in the t-shirt drawer. It does not belong in the pajama drawer. Cause I would wear this just with like jeans. Would it be 
a super cute outfit to me yes i think i'm gonna change into some comfortable pajamas because right now i'm not feeling it i think i'm gonna put the bob ross shirt back on let's do a quick recap here these two are going in the t-shirt drawer these are going to be donated we got flannel shorts velvet yellow shorts black shorts that were very very short that you never saw on me my cut up nighty and tie dye shorts all going to be donated shirts that are going to go in the memory box my bachelorette party t-shirt and first birthday t-shirt oh i never showed you this these are just gray sweatpants i'm keeping them so i'm keeping the nighty but these are going to go at the bottom of the drawer because they're just they're just too warm for right now i'm not feeling it we also have the yellow top with the sunflower shorts and the sunflower pants we have the black maternity shorts that i'm going to bleach tie-dye and enjoy we have the black button-up with the matching black pants i've got my gray target shorts the tie-dye hoodie short sleeve and the blue matching set so i was not keeping track but editing mallory please insert the number of outfits that I can make here. So that is how long I can go without doing laundry. So I noticed that there were a couple more slipper socks that I forgot to take out. Here they are. I like them both along with the pair that I did show you. Next I have all of the tops and the nighty at the bottom. That'll go right there. We've got all of the night shorts and the pants. I can't remember if I filmed myself opening up this drawer but I wasn't able to do it. And now, I'm not making a mess. I'm opening and closing it. And it's not shoving the contents all around because it's overstuffed. So I think, I think I win. I think that I accomplished what I needed to do. I needed to declutter that drawer just a little bit. And we got some things that are going to be donated, some things that are gonna go into my memory box, and then I have a pair of maternity leggings that need to be put with my maternity clothes. And that is the end of today's video. If you made it all the way to the end, congratulations and thank you. If you enjoy me, make sure that you subscribe. If you like this type of video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up so then I know to make more of these because I need to declutter more things. I don't even know what's in half of those drawers. No clue. Because I don't open them. So they need to be decluttered. And I can make videos on that. That is all that I got for you today. Bye!